guys, today I want to show you how to work with the gradient tool in Infinite Painter. Let's draw a figure, like a rectangle for example, and then let's take the fill tool here, or the gradient tool itself, it doesn't matter, because uh, if you choose the fill tool, you may change solid fill into linear, radial or sweep gradient. Okay, let's take the linear gradient and fill in the area inside the outline. Here you can see two dots, which quantity can be increased by tapping on the line with the tip of your S Pen, like that. Also, you can change the color of each dot. For example, you can make a red, blue, yellow, green gradient if you like it. Okay, let's change the color. Uh-huh. So, this is our gradient. It's quite a simple way of drawing, but not the only one. Let me show you the next one. Let's draw a rectangle again, but without using figures, uh, and make it by hand. You just draw a kind of rectangle and hold the pen for several seconds. The application will find the form, and you'll get an even rectangle. But make sure that the outline is unbroken. And if it is, finish it with a simple pen. Then fill the outline with a solid fill tool, and any color you want, it doesn't matter now, and then create a new layer with the clip function. Choose an airbrush, soft airbrush, and choose your color, for example, yellow, pink, and blue, and start drawing horizontal lines, as many as you want. Okay, and then in the edit menu, choose filters, and here choose blur, set it on the 100%, and voila, you have a perfect gradient. Also, you can use the smudge tool instead of the filter, just Take a soft air brush as a smudge tool and start smudging, but make sure that your strokes are horizontal. Otherwise, your gradient will be a mess. But the easiest way of making gradient is the next one. Let's take our rectangle again, fill it with any color again, and then lock the layer. Take a hot brush and start coloring. The outline also should be colored. If you have some white areas inside the rectangle, just unlock the layer and paint them with the chosen color. It's not really important for us today, but still, I want to get it right. Okay, and now let's take a wonderful tool in your edit menu. It's a color, color edition, and here you can see hue uh, and start sliding to the left or to the right, choosing the hue you need. But in order not to change the whole picture, you can use the mask. For example, focus or tilt shift. I prefer the last one. Okay, here we can see a dot between two panels. And we can move our mask by tapping on this dot. Also, we can make the panels wider or narrower, increasing the quantity of hue changing. The only disadvantage of this kind of gradient is that you can use only two colors, but it still looks very attractive. So let's make it some kind of palette and blue, and move our gradient mask a little bit higher. So here is our gradient. I think it's the easiest way of creating a gradient. But of course it's up to you. Uh, which one to choose, but I like the last one. So that's it. I'm sorry for my English, because I haven't been practiced for ages. I hope it will be better next time, but I can't promise it. But at least I hope the lesson was useful and you understood everything I tried to explain. If you like the video, please leave a comment, subscribe, and so on and so forth. Uh, Ask any questions if you have some, and uh, just let me know uh, if you understood me or not. Okay, so see you next time. Bye-bye.